What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody is doing well, staying safe. So, with my video that I posted earlier about the King of Cups evolving, people didn't like that I said, I was telling the feminine energy, the Empress, that she, um, should wait on this emperor to get it together. Um, there is some discrepancy in what, how that was interpreted, I guess. I know I said that this empress needs to work on herself and make sure that she is doing everything she can to be the best person that she can be no matter what this, um, emp this emperor was doing, okay? this King of Cups was doing. Um, if she decided that she wants to wait on this man because that's where her heart lies and she's tried to be with other people and that shit just never worked because this is who she loves. I mean, who am I to tell somebody that they shouldn't wait on somebody? Why would I? I'm not going to suggest anything but what I pick up. And what I was picking up was on an empress who has tried to move on to various people, okay? She has tried to move on to various people here that have left her in this 10 of swords state that have also left her stuck, had her feeling like, what the fuck? And the reason why she was putting that energy in this 10 of swords energy is because she ain't supposed to, I can't make it up, okay? I know what I was picking up on. Somebody was talking shit about me saying that. And I'm just like, you know, She's tried to move on to other people here, this empress. And this is the energy that they left her in. So why should she share herself with motherfuckers that she know? And the Holy Spirit says that is the truth. With motherfuckers, why should she give her love to somebody that she know is going to put her in this state? Okay? What sense does that make? Why y'all out here telling people that they need to share themselves with random ass motherfuckers to get over a love when you don't know the background and the history behind that love. You don't know what those people have went through and experienced together. We have the devil here. That's that devil energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't shit on how nobody feel. Nobody's love for someone else. You don't know what those people went to get, went through together and experienced. I can't make it up. We have the six of wands. You don't know what these people have been through together. What they have endured in front of other people. Their situations. Their whatever the hell. You know, sometimes it's, it's best to be quiet and be insightful about your own shit. Instead of being out here trying to pass judgment on the choices that this empress or anybody makes, okay? You're not in their shoes. You can't tell nobody how to feel, how they should feel for somebody if they should move on. Judgment, you, right. You're not the one to pass judgment on that situation of how anyone should feel about anybody, okay? Because we've all done things to people that we should not have done. Ain't nobody innocent. We have all hurt people. This emperor, y'all, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just thank you for the signs. Thank you. This emperor has been hurt too. But I do truly believe this emperor is trying to move forward towards this empress here. That is what I was picking up on, okay? That particular emperor and that particular empress in that King of Cups reading. That's what I was picking up on. You may pick up on something different. You may feel or think something different, but that particular energy, that particular twin flame journey, this woman has tried with other people. She don't want to give her love to nobody else but this emperor, and that's her right to do so. You can't judge her for doing that. You don't know what history these people have um, shared together. And if this man wants to move back towards this woman, he has the right to do so. Who am I to say that they shouldn't be together? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Because don't do me, okay? 
this person from his past, like I said earlier, these two people have a bond that nobody can break, okay? That is what I picked up on. And if this person is feeling in her spirit and her heart that this man has a has a purpose and a place in her life, then this Queen of Cups energy, this love she feels for him, she can do that. And I was picking up on a Pisces earlier. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Any final messages? If she want to love this man, she can do that. Who are you to tell her she shouldn't wait? Do what you want to do, boo. That's jealousy to me when I hear people say that. That's envy. That's some kind of underlying trauma that they haven't healed from some situation that they were in to tell somebody no nah, you don't need to fuck with him no more don't mm -mm. he did too much duh, 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 duh. who are you god got the final say we all make mistakes but who are you to pass judgment and say this person isn't be wanting to be true to this emperor empress here okay god has the final say not no tarot reader, not no psychic, not no proclaimed medium, not no bitch on the street, not no homie that you kick it with, okay? God got the final say about who gonna end up with who. That's just period. Nothing I say can change anything that these two people are going to do. God's will be done in all situations. I hope this message helps somebody. I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.